So you have your license, woohoo, and you have your kids, woohoo. So the way I do business now with my kids is definitely different than the way I did it back when I first started. Now I will tell you, I still have toddlers. So I have five kids ranging from two to 15. And when I started real estate, I had three kids, one, three, and seven. So I'm gonna share with you what I did to sell 44 houses my first year with having toddlers that did sort of stay home. They had three hours of daycare a day and I didn't pay for any leads whatsoever. And all of the mom feelings that went along with it. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, real estate broker, coach, and real estate investor. I have had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they begin their journey and venture into real estate investing. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and real estate investing, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. When I got my real estate license, I had three little children, a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Now my one-year-old and three-year-old went to a school that was open from nine to 12. So I could drop them off at nine, I had to pick them up by 12. Now we'll say that I did have somebody that could pick them up one, maybe two days a week if I were taking a class that extended into that 12 to two period. But most of the time I took them to school at nine, I picked them up at 12 and I continued to do my real estate business with the little ones. So what did I do with that little bit of time? If I have learned one thing, it is this. If you're really committed to doing something, you will actually get it done in the allotted time that you've given yourself. So if you give yourself an hour, likely it'll only take you an hour. If you give yourself eight hours in a day, you will take the entire eight hours to do whatever you're committed to that day. So at nine o'clock, I dropped my kids off. I typically would go to the Starbucks and I just started writing emails, writing messages on Facebook, text messaging people and making phone calls. I literally called people that I knew, introduced them to my new career in real estate and just started talking to them. That is exactly what I did every single day. Now I called new people and I followed up with people that I had called previously. There were tons of scripts available on Facebook and I had already started listening to podcasts and going to classes. So I just put that to work right away. Now, I did start taking some appointments during that time frame if I felt like I couldn't have my kids with me. So if somebody invited me to see their house or they needed to view houses, then I did show around that nine to 12 o'clock time frame. So 12 o'clock rolls around, I have to pick up my kids and they typically take naps around that time. So I would have them sleep in the car as I drove around to new neighborhoods if I was looking for new prospects or learning a new neighborhood, or I would take them in their stroller and roam around the neighborhood, dropping off cards and just meeting with people, talking to them, asking if they had any real estate needs and or if they knew anybody that did. I know it's kind of weird for me. I felt like taking kids with you was unprofessional, but my desire to succeed in real estate, my desire to make money and my need to make money at the time really made that care a little lower on my priority list at the time. And to my surprise, people actually were receiving of it. I believe the way that they looked at it was I was so determined to be successful in real estate, they actually wanted to hire somebody that was that determined to sell their house. There are some days that I drove home, I put the kids to bed and I actually returned additional phone calls because sometimes that morning I would make a bunch of phone calls and they started calling me back around that 12 o'clock timeframe, probably because they were on lunch hour. So I would take the kids home or I would just drive around or sit somewhere in a parking lot and return phone calls or answer my phone with who was calling me back. And, and sometimes I would actually do the research on the house right then and there and communicate with that prospect about the house or about the houses that they wanted to see. The third thing that I would do is execute any marketing strategies. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm passionate about something, I kind of really don't sleep. Well, I didn't really sleep because I had toddlers, but I didn't sleep because I had this burning desire in me to execute all of these visions and um, marketing strategies that I had for, for getting out there and getting well known in the industry. Don't worry, I'll share with you what sort of things. So I knew that I had to get people that wanted to do business with me, but I had to let people know what I did now. And so my idea was I would call a bunch of businesses 
and say, you know, hey, I have this real estate business. I want to learn more about your business, right? Because why would they want to help me if I'm not really helping them? And so I, I pretty much went to the chamber and I got a list and I started calling people and just asking if I could drop by and get material um, to send to my buyers or drop off to sellers, depending on what the business was. And of course they were ecstatic. They were very, very welcoming. So if I had two or three of these a day and the kids were in the car, I could really just pop by these businesses and grab stuff, or I could sit there and make phone calls and make appointments in order to do so. Now I will tell you, when the kids were awake, I would do things like that with them as well. I would pop in and I was like, hey, I'm in the area and I called you and um, I just wanted to meet you face to face, sorry, I've got my kids. Um, but you know, so nice to meet you. Let me take, you know, some of these business cards and I'm going to add it to our campaign for buyers or our campaign for sellers or whatever flow, flowed out, flew out of my mouth, whatever flew out of my mouth at the time, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm just like rolling with the punches, but sometimes that's what I did because I was really just motivated by the fact that I knew that people had to know me, they had to know that what I was doing and they had to know that I loved it and having kids was part of who I am. So let's talk about the feelings that go along with this. For me, like I said before, I thought it was unprofessional to take my kids to a listing, um, or I would say a listing appointment, but a for sale by owner um, and say, hey, you know, I'm a realtor and I just saw that you listed your house uh, your, uh, you know, on your own and I just wanted to stop by and introduce myself and this is my one-year-old and this is my three-year-old. <laughs> And to me, it seemed like, okay, what do you do? Do you, are you a stay at home mom or are you selling real estate? So I was telling myself these things. And like I said, at the time I didn't have a choice. I needed to do it anyway. And maybe there was some people that thought that and didn't call me back, but I was doing it so much that I was getting the return. I was actually having people call me back and the work was coming in that I didn't even pay attention to the ones that that, you know, mattered to. Not matter to that that yeah that that bothered yeah yeah that that bothered <laughs> the other feelings that start to get involved is you do have toddlers and you have kids and you know you do want to spend time with them and with a brand new business your mind is constantly on how to create business and how to get income and you know that when you stop working your income stops so it's normal to feel anxious when you're sitting or anxious when you're with your children now some people have a personality where this is how they feel anyway it doesn't matter if it's a new business they could be in this business for 10 15 20 years and they still feel anxious when they're sitting down playing Barbies with their children. And all of these feelings are okay. It's about evaluating yourself and realizing and recognizing that you have these different portions in your life. You've got yourself that you need to fill. You have your spiritual side you need to fill. You have your family side. You've got your career. You've got your finances. You've got all these different pieces. And the only way that you're going to balance them out, it's not a feelings game because you're probably going to feel out of balance all the time. It's an evaluation game. It's about looking at those different pieces and knowing that you may have to spend a little more time during this moment on something but you'll need to kind of counterbalance yourself in another moment. For instance, if you're gonna work all week, Monday through Friday, and you're gonna miss some kid time Monday through Friday, then take the weekend off or vice versa. If you're going to spend time with your kids and pick them up every single day after school during the week, then let everybody know, hey, listen, I'm gonna have these hours on this day that I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate to work. Evaluating yourself and your life and what you love and what you don't like is the key to doing anything successful with kids. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please share your comments with me and like this video. And don't forget to check out more of our videos. See you next time. Done? How long was that? 15 minutes? <laughs> Probably as quick as it <laughs> Well, I'm talking about something that's what I do every day.